Molwe ni Saubo na Santi Bona ni Molwe ni Kunja ni Ndiku Mtwana Wabatu. Listen man, let's get started. Um, Mtwana Wabatu. So we have a question here. They say uh, there exists a relationship between X and Y. So the relationship between X and Y, X and Y means if there's there two, it's going to produce three. If it's one, it's going to produce three. If it's three, it's going to produce just like how we see. So this is a relationship. If you have an X, is an input, I'm going to get output of what? Let me explain you something quick, quick. What does that mean? So now, we don't know which type of function it is. For example, let's assume it's a linear. Let's say this is f of x. We know this is linear. 2x, let's say, plus 1. Because the linear, because it's mx plus 1. So it's a straight line. Meaning, if I want to input negative 2, for example, I'm just saying. Well, let's say minus 1, let's say. Let's say x plus 1. Or x minus 1. For example, it's not like it is, but uh, okay, let's say x negative 2. If x equal to negative 2 is going to be negative 2 here, minus 1 equal to negative 3. You see? So to get the value of f of x or y in other way is going to depend on x. So x, y is dependent, but this x is independent. That's to say, in the following table, the independent variable is represented by x. Means it does not depend nobody. X doesn't depend nobody, but to get the value of y, it depends on what input of x is going to go in there. Meaning these are inputs. And then it's going to put, means if you put the value of x, for example, negative 2, you see, put it again. So x is independent or it does not depend on anybody, but the value of y depends on axis. That's all I'm trying to say here. And the dependent variable represented by y means this y depend on x. Y depend on x. Y depend on all of them. So now we have to talk about which table represents the relationship which is not function. Now I have to explain to you about relationship before we solve this question because otherwise you won't be able to solve this question. So just two minutes of your time and then you'll be able to understand everything. So about relationship is like this. Okay, let's see type of relationship. If let's say you have a, let's say this is the group, and this is another group. Let's call, let's say this is the input, and this is the output. Okay, if this, let's say A, B, C, and let's say this is a M, N, and O. So, if the relationship is like this, let's say for example, this produce this, and this, let's say, produce this. Let's say we have a two times here, and this produce this. If this is type of relationship, means we can have the value, same value of x. See, same value? Excuse me, I mean different value. See, you can have a x and can give us y. And you see, we have a different type of x's. It could produce the same output of y. Y is like output, right? You know, like you see, different value of x, but sometimes they can produce single value of y. Yes, it's a function, it's acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like many to one means a lot of things they can produce single answer. For example, you see here, one, it gives us three, also five, they give us three. So three is like the same thing, but the value of difference. Look, one and five is like B and C, but both of them they give us only three. So, this type of relationship, it does exist, and yes, when it's like that, it could be function. Like, look here, negative 2 and 3, that difference, like negative 2 and 3, let's say B and C, but both of them, they give us negative 3 and negative 3, means they give a single thing. But also, sometimes, it could be like here, look, all of them, that difference, not like you see here, some of them there, excuse me, you see like, these and these are different things, and they can give us like, A can give us, or whatever, like different thing, negative 2 can give us negative 3. Not all the time you must have something similar, like here, A can give us B. So this type of relationship, when it's happen, we say this is a function. See, this is many to one, many thing to one, and this is one to one function. So like many to one, and then one to one. So this is the function. When this type of relationship happen, yes, it's a function. A good example, this is a function, because you got two different things, like explain this and this, but it give us three. And this is 1 and 5, they give us 3, so this is a function here. This type of relationship is a function. Now, let's take the second one. Another relationship. 
Okay? She was my Jesus Savior, God. Another relationship is like, for example, one on one. Like, let's say these are access or input, and these are output. Okay? Let's say this is input, like I say, and these are output. Okay, let's say this is A, B, C, and this, let's say K, M, N. So, M, N, whatever. Okay. This is acceptable, so this is one to one function. Means you could have A produce B, B produce M, C produce N, A produce K. So this is a function also, it's one to one function. So when you have, let's say, all the value of X are different and they produce different value of Y, yes, it is function, it's acceptable. You see what I'm saying? So this was a type of function. Now, let's check if you have something like this. Uh, this is a good example. They don't have the same product and all of them are different. Can you see negative one produce five? See, two produce four, and then three produce seven. So this is one to one function. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So this type of relationship is a function. Now, which type of relationship is not function? Let's see, which type of relationship is not function? I'm going to explain to you now. Okay, so the type of relationship is not function, is when, like this, for example. Let's say this input, this output. Okay? Let's say this is uh, K, M, N, and this is uh, P, Q, R. So I'm saying, okay, let's say P and Q. P and Q. P and Q. So this is a thing. One thing can never produce two things, according to the fact. Like, we can say this, produce this, and this, produce this. Then this type of relationship is not function. You know what I'm saying? We can have a one to many, no. But we can have a many to one. Can you see? Many to one. These are many things can produce the same result. But you can have a one to many, no. Many to one function or one to one function. So this is not true. You see what I'm saying? This is not true. Even though this could give us single thing, but uh, this, we don't have this type of function, like whereby single thing produce many things. For example, see this is 3 produce 4 and the same 3 also produce negative 4. No, there's no such a thing. So this is not function. Like here, yeah, look, 4 produce 5 and then the same 4 produce negative 5. No. So this is not function. This type of relationship is not function. However, this is function because we say we can have a many things produce one thing. Like you see, many things, this, and this but they can produce same value which is negative three so many things negative two negative one three five they can produce single thing which is three like all of them they produce three but not one thing produce two no nope. so this is a function this relationship is a function so the option is option x so now let's say which table represents a relationship which is not function so it's s these are two answers Molweni, 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 sani bonani, kunjani, dingu mtwana wabani. I'm twana wabani, let's get started, twana wabani. Let's get started. So now, uh, let's see here question number 20. The following table represent a linear function. Oh yes, you know why? Because look, f of x meaning y. When you say f of x meaning it's like a y. Equal to ax. A x A remember for this case A represents the slope. So it's like M X, but for this case they didn't say M is like A X and then plus B. So B is the Y intercept. What is the question? Now let's say a uh, straight line that has a greater Y intercept. So they give us a lot of straight line. So they say which straight line which has a greater Y intercept than the straight line described or described by the linear function above. So this linear function above, we don't know the slope, we don't know y intercept. So first and foremost, we need to find um, the slope and the y intercept, and then after that, we're gonna come and look among this, which one has a greater y intercept than 
the straight line we're gonna get. You see what I'm saying? The one that we're gonna obtain about. So now let's do that. So they give us a lot of coordinates here. It's like the first coordinate is like negative one and five. The second one, let's write the coordinate. Is what is one and nine. The third coordinate is so I don't need a lot of coordinates. I can take two and then find the equation of a line. Because the following represents a linear function, so this is its coordinate. So I can take the first one, second one, or first one, third one. It's going to give me the same answer. You see what I'm saying? Or oh, this and that. Oh, so let me take, for example, this and that. But we're going to also want to test this and that, just to see if it's going to give the same slope. So now I'm going to say, uh, so I want to get f of x, like f of x equal to, f of x is equal to y. So 1 of 10 y equal to ax plus b. First things, find the value of the slope or gradient. So this is a slope or gradient. Let's find it. How are you going to get there? To get the slope or gradient, change in y. Means take this y, but this y is like 9 minus 5 over 1 minus, means take this value of y minus this another y. Or you can say change in y. So you can change in y over changing in x. So that means 9 minus 5 over 1 minus this value of here. I mean this x minus this x. But what the value of x here? Negative 1. So 9 minus 5 equal to 4 over negative negative plus 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. So the value of slope equal to 2. You see what I'm saying? You can even do this one also should give us the same thing. So the value of slope. So we're going to use this coordinate. But let's just test quick if to see if it's going to give us the same thing. Change in y. If I take let's say this. Two. So, so changing y means I'm going to take this y minus this y, this x minus this x. Okay, now let's go. 13 minus 9 equal to 4. So changing y because this is a y is going to be 13 minus 9 equal to 3 minus 1 equal to 2. So this 13 minus 9 equal to 4 and 3 minus 1 equal to 2. Okay, what is 1 minus 2 equal to? 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. You see, give it the same thing. But uh, I just decided, let me take the first and second coordinate. But I uh, have proved to you that it's going to give us the same answer, just like how you saw. See what I'm saying? Now, let's continue. I'm sweating a lot, just wiping. Now, let's continue. So, now we're going to say, so I don't need this, this I was just showing you. So, you can take any of this coordinate. So, our slope equal to 2 means the value of A equal to 2. So, we can plug in here. We say, okay, so Y equal to 2X plus B. So now we need to find the value of b. b is the y-intercept. So how are you going to get b? These two coordinates, you can take any of these. Any of them. It doesn't matter whichever. Okay, let me just say, um, okay, let me take, for example, it doesn't matter, man. Let me take the face one. So, let me take the face one. You can take any of these two. So I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to start shooting this question. So what about of y? y equal to 5. So you say 5 equal to 2. What about of x? x equal to negative 1. So multiply by negative 1 and then plus b. Okay, 5. So this will be 5. 2 times negative? Negative 2. So here is negative 2. Negative 2, when you take over, it's going to become positive 2. So 5 plus 2 equal, since everything went over, we'll be left with only b. So b equal to 7. And b represents y intercept, which equals 7. So y equal to 2x and b equals 7 plus 7 because the value of b equals 2 positive 7 now so since we get we got the equation of a line so this is that so we want to look out of all these options which one has the greater y intercept this is a y intercept which is this is 7 and the slope here equals 2 now let's start to compare if I compare this with the first option no it's not true because they have the same slope so since slope already, if one already messed up, means everything disqualified. So this it doesn't disqualify. Now let's go for the second one, B. Number two, this one, it has a greater, because this slope is bigger, three, this slope is two. Slope is two. Now, this y intercept is 7.5, even this is, okay, so this also qualified. This could be true, but let's continue. We cannot guarantee with that only one. Now let's go for this one. This one, Number three, slope equal to five, this slope equal to two. So for slope, yes, it qualified. Now let's come here. 
y intercept y intercept 6.5 y intercept equals 7 so y intercept messed up so since one messed up means everything has been messed up so it's not a true answer let's go for the last one for the last one slope equal to 2 slope equal to 10 yes yeah, slope is fine this is bigger now let's go for y intercept y intercept equals 7 this is 5.5 so y intercept no it's smaller so this does not qualify so our answer is going to be this you know why because slope is bigger both slope and y intercept also is bigger but for the other stuff maybe one is bigger another one is not big so this could be the answer easy it's just a waste of time when you do this question and it's easy like that man thanks a lot of you know what i'm saying look man i believe in learning from how to do things if it's time make sure you subscribe and you know you can just go and do donation to our patreon page i have a patreon i have a gofundme you know what i'm saying i have all the means of donation because to make this project going you know any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time. You know, subscribe, don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people. You know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can. Okay, it's not only for one page or two, because you might think it's not helpful for you. But for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man. And you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page. Go to our uh, GoFundMe because we need to have a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together, like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on, you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate and I love you. Peace, man. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge, you know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Kamri. Yeah. I'm from Solosense Primary School. Yeah, I'm trying to find school. Trying to find. Trying to find just everywhere, right? Everywhere. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, he's grade eleven, man. So he's aiming to score this section, right? So you promise? I want you to score this section this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. Yeah, so to everywhere, man. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. exactly. everywhere. Thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Sometimes you do the harder stuff, you like just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you, and wish you all the best with your hard work. And just, I just want to say we appreciate you. And uh, we have, I have achieved like 93%. Sambonani, Sambonani, Sambonani. This is Uema Onokula Wamkiz this morning. Uh, I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal and I was born in Kwaslabisa in KwaZulu Natal. Hello everyone, this is Uketele Numvalo from A. Johannesburg, a midrain. I'm studying through in. I would like to thank Mr. Hamish for helping us so, so much. We have actually got 90 to 100% on that. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish Siabong.